Mortimer races across the tops of New York skyscrapers to meet with Calypso and claim his prize. It's been a long day's work, and once his mission is complete, he'll retire to the underworld until he's needed again. When they meet, Calypso steps forward and tells Mortimer he can have anything he wants, whatever he wishes for, Calypso will grant as his prize. Mortimer steps from his car and stares down on Calypso. He laughs a little and his car bursts into flames. I have not come here for a prize, he says. Instead, I have something of a gift for you. Calypso is astonished. Never has someone fought against all odds, facing death itself, and refused the prize at the end. Mortimer snickers and walks to the back of his hearse. He pulls a lever as Calypso steps to the rear door. The door bursts open and thousands of souls emerge and envelop Calypso. It's a trap and Calypso has fallen right into it. These are the vengeful souls of those killed in Calypso's Twisted Metal tournaments. Pedestrians, mimes, workers, anyone who happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And they want Calypso dead. They've called on Mortimer to get the revenge they desired. The souls engulf Calypso and carry him into the night sky. Rumors exist of them dropping Calypso into the flames of the burning cities. Some say they still carry him into the night. Only Calypso knows for sure. As he's hoisted away, Calypso grabs the wing of a jet plane and breaks free of the souls of grasp. We'll hear more from Twisted Metal's Sinister Masters.